All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through Getting ready for this Chapter 13 test. Here is a review of finding the distance between parallel lines, okay? As always, or as usual, I will say, I'm going to start with a widmo poi, okay? We've got, I'm just going to do a rough sketch. So y equals 3x plus 2. That's too rough. Looks something like that, okay? Um, y equals 3x minus 5. Looks something like that. And just a reminder that the only lines we can find the distance between are parallel lines. All other lines have different distances at all points, okay? So the idea is, in order to find a distance, we have to use a perpendicular. Another way to think about that is the distance between two lines has to be the shortest possible distance. And the shortest possible distance is formed when we make a perpendicular with both lines. Does that make sense? Okay. So there is a very clear process for this. You pick the easiest point you can to create an equation with. So that would either be this point or this point, okay? Now we need to write a equation of a line that's perpendicular to the pink line. Let me ask you this. If it's perpendicular to the pink line, will it be perpendicular to the black line? Yes, it will, okay? So what is this point again right here? And what's the slope of this blue line since it's perpendicular to the pink line? Negative one third. So what's the equation? What's the equation of the blue line? Y equals negative one third x plus two. Okay. Now what's the goal here? find the distance between the blue point and the red point, right? So what do I need to find next? I need to find the red point. Excellent. How do I find the red point? The intersection of which two lines? Excellent. The black line and the blue line. So we ask ourselves, where does negative one-third x plus two equal 3x minus 5. Okay? I multiply everything by 3. Negative x plus 6 equals 9x minus 15. Because I'm a fraction hater, 10x equals 5, or 6 minus 15. No. 6 plus 15 is 21. So x is 2.1. Okay? Again, I'm trying to find the red point. So what am I missing? I got to find the y. I should be able to plug that x into either one of these equations, and it should give me the same answer, right? So let's ch check to see if we did it right. 3 times 2.1 is 6.3, and 6.3 minus 5 is 1.3. So I'm thinking it's 1.3, but if I have time on the test, I'm certainly going to check my answer. So negative one-third times 2.1 is negative 0.7. And negative 0.7 plus 2 is indeed 1.3, and now I'm feeling really good about life. So now my final step is I just got to find the distance between this and that, right? So it's just going to be 2.1 squared plus uh, a negative 0.7 squared. Help. So 4.41 plus 0.49. Tell me that's right. No. Is that going to be a nice, easy answer? What'd you get, Grace? The square root of, is it the square root of 4.9? No. What is the square root of 4.9? It's not 
Yeah. What is it? I'll just write it all out. Come on.